Hey everybody, welcome back to A Late Show. You know my first guest tonight as Falcon in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. His new series, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, just had its finale on Friday. Please welcome back to A Late Show, Anthony Mackey. Hey Anthony, good to see you. What's up, man? How's it going? Uh, it's going okay. We have not talked in just a little bit over a year. You were, I think, the second to last week. The week before, not the week we went off the air, but the week right before that was when we saw each other last. Yeah, yeah. I was the one that brought COVID in and shut everybody down. Thanks very much. <laughs> much appreciated. Much appreciated. How has the last year? How has the last year been for you? Have you been hunkered down? Have you been basically just going to the grocery store and home? Not pretty much. I mean, it's I I spent all my time in my backyard anyway, so it was pretty great for me. Um, you know, my family's been safe. We've all been sequestered and uh, isolated, so we haven't had any issues. But, you know, that's pretty much how I live my life anyway. So it's been pretty quiet, man. A lot of gardening. Well, that's, that's good. <laughs> well, for a lot of people, there's been a lot of streaming out there. And one of the things I've really enjoyed over the last couple of months is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It's been a great series. And as I said, the finale was Friday, and we, we knew it was coming. We didn't know how it would happen. <laughs> You've got a new title. Why don't you tell the people what it is who don't know? In, in the great uh, words of Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live, I'm Captain America, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we actually, and, and you know, we, we know it's coming. We know you're going to get that shield. We, we, right. we, 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 we know the arts. It's still satisfying when it happens. And I think we have, a, we have a clip here of the moment that we first see you full captained out. Jim? Sharon, Bucky, what's going on on your end? Nothing, all quiet. I'm sorry, wait, who are I'm you? Captain America. <laughs> that's, that's, okay, I, I wanna get into a little bit about the, uh, the, the, the sort of the decision to become Captain America for the character. Uh, let's talk about those wings. Those, vi those wings are vibranium too, right? 100% the best of vibranium CGI can buy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, it's not all CGI. Well, we knew that vibranium wings were coming when they got torn off you halfway through the series. Right, of course. We've got to have course, vibranium wings now. Now, yeah. uh, let's talk about something that's not CGI, is that there's, a, again, about halfway through episode uh, maybe four, you start working out like mad <laughs> as a character did you have to work out like mad as a person? Because I love asking the people who have to play these superhero parts if it was an excuse to actually get in shape. I'm waiting for someone to cast me so I have a reason to get in shape. <laughs> well, I will say I, there's no muscle suit under my suit. That's my, my, my pride ever since my seven movies in. I'm like, I, I, I don't want a muscle suit under my suit. So I had to work out every day, all day. And a little bit more, know, a little had, bit more for this to get that. Yeah, to I get had, that I wedge. Get the Dorito, man. That's what he's called, the Dorito, shoulders to waist. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we need more shirtless. We need more shirtless cap because that's, you know, that puts the that puts the asses in the seats, you know. I know. That's, you know, when it's in the movie theaters, it's different. But this is a show for Disney Plus. You can't be walking around in your box of briefs drinking coffee on Disney Plus. All right, you drop you drop guys drop a, you drop a couple salty words in this though. It's not entirely it's <laughs> not entirely clean. Well, what, we, when you were on the show uh, a year ago, again, I got it, like a year ago, we, you talked about the significance of there being a black Captain America, and especially uh, episode five uh, of this run has a, a, a really great uh, exploration of what that might mean. What does it mean to you now that you are Captain America, you know, th to, to be the first black Captain America? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's humbling, uh, really. I never, it never, it didn't hit me 
uh, until the show came uh, to conclusion Friday, and I watched it uh, with my boys. And it's, it's really, uh, there are no words to explain it. it. I remember it was 2008 when I first moved to Brooklyn, and I was walking down the street, and I saw this little kid, and he had taken, like, a, a cereal box and, like, cut eyes and put the cereal box on his head and, like, spray-painted it blue and put an A on it. And I was like, yo, what you doing, man? He's like, I'm fighting bad guys. I'm Captain America, you know? And to see that little kid and think about, you know, almost 13 years later where, where I am now, you know, in the universe, it's, it's, it's really humbling and exciting at the same time because there is that significance uh, to little kids around the world. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like being the first black Superman, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's like being the best that our country has to offer. Yeah, it's like it's it's like being the first uh, white uh, basketball player. It's like being Larry Bird all of exactly. a sudden. Exactly. We'll get one one day. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I have something. Oh, by the way, is your family are your family and friends impressed? Do you get a little more respect with the text chain now? Not at all, man. The uh, you know I, I I now understand that my family and friends their goal is to keep me humble. Uh, so the uh, the text that I've met, like my friends, we have a like twenty of us on the chain. And one of my friends was like, yo, you've got to be the ugliest Captain America. <laughs> and then last week, so I guess, you know, something happened in Atlanta where there's been a shortage of chicken wings. Because everybody, lemon pepper, man, they love lemon pepper in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So my boy texts me, he's like, look, if you're Captain America, damn it, you got to solve this problem. We have a shortage of wings in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So you need to do your job and come through and bring them wings. Are, 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 so are they, they, they going to start deep frying your vibranium? Right. <laughs> Throw in some buffalo sauce. Hey, uh, you're, you're from New Orleans, right? Yeah, born and, and raised. Okay, so is that... Is that uh, canon to the character or uh it does it fit your uh personal backstory and your own personal feelings about home that uh it, you know falcon's home is in the mississippi delta well that was all uh malcolm spellman our writer uh he wanted to you know Falcon has had many different uh, incarnations throughout the course yeah. of the comic book and now in the movie. So he was always um, recontextualized every time he was brought back into the uh, comic book universe. So with this, Malcolm wanted to make it more of my experience, more of my voice, so I could relate to the character more, mm -hmm. since he had a, a, a basically a blank canvas to play with. So he gave me like little nuggets of my like personal experience and put it in there to make me more comfortable with the character. Well, I, I've got something that I've been told you have not seen yet, uh, but it's pretty awesome. This is your action figure. No, shut up. There is. <laughs> there you are. I'm leaving this one in the box to keep it cherry, but here we go. There Yo, you go. where'd you get that? I I don't know. I work in TV. They give me things. Look at this. <laughs> the wings. Wings are foldable. Wings are foldable like this. That's dope. Yeah, the arms. You can like you can you can whack somebody like that. I think this comes <laughs> off. That that is um. Let's get a, let's get a good shot here. See what they're doing. Let me can, see from this distance. Think, he looks more like, like Jamie Foxx than me. <laughs> man, that's dope that is really beautiful how's that that's dope that man. feels good yeah that's amazing i haven't seen it yet I've, I've never seen one of those well the falcon and the winter soldier is streaming now on disney plus anthony mackie everybody we'll be right back with the host of npr's fresh air terry gross thanks anthony